Kit Kats, dog food, a loo brush, and don't forget the bath plug. All that and so much more will be on the ballot paper at this, the first general election, since we learnt what MPs wanted us to pay for. The impact of the MPs' expenses scandal is totally unpredictable in this election. In seats like Harlow and Essex, where the two big parties dominate, people could choose to vote for other smaller parties. They could, of course, decide that other issues matter simply much more. Or could they ask themselves the question, voting, is it really worth it? That's what we asked today in our totally unscientific quest to take the pulse of the British electorate. I think they're all the same, all the politicians are the same. In what way? Well, they just are all out for themselves. If you don't vote, then you miss out. You don't have a, a voice for the future. Good question, actually. Yeah. Some who will vote will nevertheless punish the big parties. I think we've lost a lot of faith in, yeah. in either of both of them, actually. So. And might you vote for a different party? Could well, do. Could well do, could well do. Liberal, yeah. Democrat, maybe. Yeah. Liberal Democrats? Yeah, yeah. Which maybe. Which would be a change, wouldn't it, for us? The ducks in Harlow have to make do without subsidised houses. We've not come to this town because it's been a focus of the expenses scandal, but the local Labour MP did have to repay over £2,700, and the recently resigned Tory leader of Essex County Council is facing charges for his alleged abuse of House of Lords expenses. Members of the Harlow Allotment Association, unlike members of Parliament, have never been able to claim for the cost of their gardening. They disagree, though, on whether voting is still worth it. I'm really, really surprised to see how many people are going to actually vote, having, having uh, lived through this scandal. You've, you've got to vote to put your point over. If you don't vote, you don't put your point over. If you're going to going to complain about the people that voted in. If you haven't voted yourself, I don't see where you can complain about what they're doing. It goes against my principles. I really do like voting and I want to vote, but I don't want to this time. Because? Because of the way they've behaved. The red's pulling out of the blues now, and the orange is behind. Oh, maybe it's not worth voting at all. Here we go. It is anyone's bet how many will vote in this election. Even before the scandal, 8,000 fewer people voted here than when Tony Blair was elected. Four million fewer in the country as a whole. Why have you put no? Because I wouldn't trust politicians as far as I could throw them. What, because of what they've done recently? Because I think they're a bunch of lion thieving snakes, personally. No, I, I think we should, we should vote. We were given that, especially as a woman, we were given that, that right a few, many years ago. and. It's very important we continue with it. Couldn't remember. You're joking. As I head home after this tour of marginal constituencies, I'm struck by the lack of belief in the ballot box. Whoever wins this election will have to struggle hard to restore it. Nick Robinson, BBC News. Hopefully attract more students to the universities. It's a bit of a polling point.